hello guys so in today's video i will show you a demo app i have made and i have used a vgg19 model for this image classification app so uh, these are the libraries which we need to import uh, the model is pre-trained it is pre-trained on 1.2 million images so we will be downloading that and we will be using that vgg19 model so these are the okay let's download it and i will uh, explain after that okay. so first we need to download the vgg19 and save it it as vgg19.h5 in h5 format we can save and then whenever we want the model to predict we can just load uh, this model so for that from tensorflow.keras.applications.vgg19 we need to import this vgg19 class and after that we need to initialize vgg19 with weights as imagenet right then it will download a 500 mb file onto your system and after that you can save it as vgg19.h5 so this is the code you need to write in order to save and once you have done that you need not to do it again it is only once and you can just load it from the local directory as you have saved in the h5 format so we need to import os this is for the files handling purposes we need this module os module numpy as np from tensorflow import keras and from tensorflow.keras.application.imagenet.utils import this preprocess input and decode input predictions we need this because in vgg19 there are total thousand classes so for decoding those we need this one we need to import these and from tensorflow.keras.preprocessing import this image module and this will be needed for uh, conversion of image in pal image into uh, array and this load model from the keras from tensorflow.keras.models import this load model method and from flask import the flask class redirect url for request and render templates now these are needed so these are the dependencies which we need and after that let's create a flask app and its name is app is equal to we need to instantiate our flask and by passing underscore underscore name underscore underscore and the name of this underscore underscore name underscore underscore will be underscore underscore main underscore underscore as it is the same file which we are referring to we did not import this file into other file so it is underscore underscore main underscore underscore and this is the model path this is the as this app.py is in the same folder as where we are saving so we can just uh, give the name if it is not in the same location we need to specify total path as it is in the same folder so we are giving vgg19.h5 it will be saved like that so this is the path and using this lo load model method we are just passing this path so that it will load our model okay okay i will explain this later now let's come here now there are two routes basically when an user goes to the home page then the home page should be rendered and should be given and when after clicking the submit button in the home page the user should be redirected to the predict page where he gets to see the prediction so we wrote a route at the rate app home page and the method is get so from the home page it will be sending the data to the server so the method is get and the name of the function is index or you can name it anything i have named it index and we are returning the index.html i will show uh, it in i will show index.html um, after explaining these two 
so we are rendering the index.html we are rendering because index.html has the html as well as some python code in it that's why we are using the rendered template and then returning the rendered version it index.html may or may not have the python code but we need to use a render template so that it renders and gives out if we just return the index.html it's just the html page if they're using the jinja2 templating we can use the jinja2 templating inside our html and then using this render template after rendering the whole page it re returns the rendered version so that's why we are using the render template so it just returns the home page whenever the user goes to the home page it returns the home page their user can user can input the image and click on the prediction right and after that we are uh, writing a route for predict so after whenever a user comes to home page slash predict and the user can come or the server can receive uh, the methods are get and post so both methods the user can come or basically this route accepts bo both methods and we are we have written a predict function so we are checking whether the method which we got was get or post if it is post only we are responding so if request dot method is equal to equal to post if it's post then we are retrieving the file from our client so using request dot files of file this name file is what will be returning by our browser or the, from the client side we will be having this in our html and in these three lines of code what we are doing is we are this is the path this is the path base path and to the base path we are joining with the uploads there is an upload folder we will show you you see there is an uploads folder in our this is the directory so this is the directory and we need to keep our html files over here in the templates folder and there is an upload folder which i have created there we need to specify over here we need to specify that and the file name f dot file name gives the file name of the file which the user uploads and that is the total file path and there under the uploads folder we want to save so f dot save file path so this file path using this file path it will be saved in the uploads folder so if it is this our main folder I have named it image classification VGG6. Sorry, it should be VGG19. Okay, okay, no problem. It I have loaded VGG19, but I have named just VG16, no problem. So all the uploads should be saved to this folder only. So basically, these three lines of code do those, and after that. We have written the model predict function over here. If you can see, okay, what it accepts, it accepts the path, path of the file, and the model, this model, and it pre processes the image. That means, in whatever size the image may be uploaded, it should be converted into 224 cross 224 as our model VGG19 accepts that only as an input. So, we are using the image module and load image function or the method we are passing the image path where it is stored and the target sets to this size it is reshaped and uh, the cnn or the input the dimension of the or cnn or the input x it accept is 1 1 24 cross 224 cross 3 and i will write over here 1 
224 cross 224 so first is this is for the this axis is for the batches so since our model accepts the data in batches here the batch is only our image is only one so we are expanding the dimension along that so one this is the this is the height and width of the image and this is the number of channels of the image so basically our model accepts like this but we are initially having only this 24 cross 224 cross 3 so that's why we are expanding it we are expanding it and using this pre-process underscore input which you have imported from this keras dot from tensorflow.keras.application image net utils we are using that and passing the x and storing it in x and after that after completing the pre-processing so we are calling the predict method by passing the image after pre-processing and returning that the prediction it returns a numpy so model dot predict method returns a numpy array of predictions so we are just returning that numpy array and we are ok here this numpy array is received from this method and after that we are decoding the predictions as a numpy array contains total 100 sorry 1000 classes we can't just write a list over here and just get those for that we are using this decode predictions function by passing the numpy array and top is equal to 1 and after that receive uh, receiving the or after decoding the prediction we are just converting it into a string we are converting it in the string using this line of code we are converting it into string and after that we are having the result the string or whatever image we upload the result of the the predicted value of that image will be present in this result variable so what we are doing is we are rendering the predict.html and passing in this result variable result is a is a string value like mango dog panda it's just a string and we are passing that value to this predict.html and we will be using the jinja2 templating to render it so the name of the result is image prediction so we will be using this in our predict.html we won't be using the result result is the value and the name to that value is the image prediction which we have given and pass it as a parameter in render template so inside the predict.html we will be using image prediction as this is like key and a value so we would be using the key in order to access the value right and here using this if underscore underscore name is equal to underscore underscore main apt run using this we are starting the flask cap so let's see this index.html and predict.html this is the index.html it is simple html code title and i have written some css part and the css file is stored over here this is a link to the css file and this is a styling i have given inside the head tag okay it should be placed inside the head tag i placed outside no problem it should be placed over here but i placed it outside no problem it is rendering still rendering but it should be placed inside the head tag only inside the body tag what i did is i have created an heading image prediction app and i have created a form you can see there is a form and in order to um, make it what do you call in order to be good i just included a table where there is there is only one row and two columns you could see there is a one row and two column in the first column there is input which is accepting the file and the name of the file is file if you remember we have used it over here so this file is this file whatever we name over here it is the same name should be used over there 
and the next is a submit so it will create a button submit and the name of that button will be predict right so after clicking this after clicking this submit we we are to be redirected to this particular route slash predict so whenever user comes to home page slash predict this particular method is executed right and whenever user comes to the home page whenever a user comes to the home page index.html will be rendered and show let's uh, see this predict so as soon as we click predict we will be taken to this particular route and the function will be executed and it returns this predict.html now similarly i have written some styling to it I just included only the background color nothing more than that and font size to be 20 pixels here i have included the style within the head so it, it should be included it's an internal css right okay uh, just a heading predictor output and we are using the jinja2 templating so here also we created a table one row and one column this looks like and this image prediction it is not within this predict.html it will be coming from this function so after this value result it is a name like a value and we are referring with the name image prediction so we can use this image prediction inside our predict html and using this curly braces two curly braces show here and two curly braces show here this is using this this is jinja2 templating so this is interpreted as a python code and it will be evaluated by the python interpreter and it substitutes the value the result it substitutes the value over here and after rendering it returns the predict.html so okay this is totally about the our app so let's run our app Yeah, it took some time for putting and after that if it is successful it gives out this message running on the local server so just copy it and go to the browser any browser i'm using this edge edge browser you can use the chrome copy paste over here and click on enter so it renders and gives out the index.html It should give out this particular index.html and you can check if you uh, if uh, anything has missed or if any, if anything in the code is not proper then it will uh, throw an error you could see over here if it returns a status code of 200 then that means everything is good the server has responded to the request from the client so this is a successful uh, request and response so if you see this particular status code then if you see 200 as a status code then everything is okay uh, the server responded so now what we can do is you can choose this file let's go to image was So I have two images. Let's see those images before uploading. Open with, where is open with? Okay. 
I think this is the image of a. It looks like a viper. Okay, let's upload this. This looks like a horned viper. Yes, it's predicted correctly. Now let's go back and choose another file. There are total thousand classes you can upload. Fruits, including from fruits, cats, dogs. Pandas. I am uploading another image of pandas only. I think this is pandas, giant panda. This is a panda image. This looks like a giant panda. Now you could face errors while doing this. You can check those errors over here. Whatever error is there, it returns over here. Here it. It says 200 status codes. 200 status code means a successful request and response. A client has re requested something from the server and the server returns with the 200 status code. That means successful. And if there is an error, any error within this code or your HTML or anything, it will be generated over here. You can copy that and paste it in Google and search uh, and then you can solve it. So that's it from this video. I will be attaching the links for this folder in the github you can download it and I won't be including this vgg19.h file it is a very big file so I will just be including the files except these files you can download this using this particular python file you can download it and after downloading once you can load it every time that's it thank you guys